If for whatever reason you were trapped at home and still needed a way to make a viable income, we're not talking about pocket change. We're talking about real money to pay all of your bills and sustain your livelihood, as well as actually stacking up some bread so you can actually grow your lifestyle. Now, there are four factors that I considered or four types of people rather that I considered when I was thinking about what is something that makes the most sense that can help the most of my viewers. Also, I want to let you know that there's nothing to buy at the end of this video. We're going to give you all of the game in this video. Don't need to buy a course. Don't need to book a call. None of that. Just make sure that you turn the volume up, save this video, subscribe to the channel if you knew if you like game like this. So the four categories of people that I considered were uh, some people watching this video may be single. Some people watching this video may be single with children. Some people watching this video may be married without kids. Some people watching this video may be married with kids. So knowing that those are the four categories of people that if you ever were in an environment where you couldn't leave home and you still had to figure out how to make money, what is something that will work regardless of your personal situation? Because life happens to everybody. It's not like you could just commit to working for 24 hours out of the day. That would be no fun at all. Let's get into the first point that I want to share with you all. And I only have three and trust me, you only need three. Really, you could take any one of these three and run up a bag. E-commerce. Let's break it down in detail. So I think that if you're brand new to selling stuff online, in my experience as somebody that has resold stuff and private label sold things, I recommend that you start off as being an individual out there that is a reseller. What is a reseller? Pretty much instead of you creating your own products or services, you source products and services at a discounted price and then you resell them for a marked up price on major platforms like eBay, Amazon, Macari, Redbubble. Uh, well, Redbubble is more of a private label. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. But the big ones for me, Amazon, eBay, Macari. All right. Now, why I think that this is such a great opportunity is when I personally did this business and made just as much money as I made as an independent courier. And for those of you that have been watching this channel, you know that being an independent courier is really what I'm most known for. That's how I made my first six figures. My favorite business of all time, not necessarily uh, the business that made me the most money, all right? But assuming that we couldn't leave and be independent couriers, an e-commerce brand, if you're brand new to selling, start off reselling, so that way you don't have to make things cool. You don't gotta try to figure out why would people buy it if they would buy it? What kind of marketing campaign you got to do to get them excited about buying it? People already want to buy certain toys, certain electronics, certain clothes, shoes, and et cetera. They, those brands have already did the hard part for you. All you have to do is source it, and you can source it locally. But let's say you couldn't even leave your house to go source items locally at thrift stores and discount stores. Do you know that you can literally source stuff online? There's a ton of different websites out there. There are even people out here that will source things from one website and resell it on another website. Now, I don't want to go crazy and get deep into drop shipping um, because that is one way to do it. But what I'm talking about specifically here, just to make it super simple and not confuse anybody, is not drop shipping. This is you making data driven decisions as a business owner that if you buy this item and it was in your possession, you know you can sell it for a marked up price. And uh, how do you know? Now, if you're going to be on Amazon, there's a whole lot of different tools and software out there, one of which is called Scout IQ. One of which is called Scout IQ. Shout out to my brother Travis underscore GWV. That's his handle. It stands for Generational Wealth Vibes. He is on track to have his first seven-figure year, that's a million dollars plus, off of selling things on Amazon. He also teaches it as well, but we're talking about the money he makes by doing the business because on the internet, you don't really know if people are getting money off of the information or off of the actual business. So I'm here to tell you, this is somebody that's making their money off of the actual business itself. All right. Um, now let's say you want to do eBay and Macari, cause I'm going to be honest with you. I've had the most success selling things on Amazon that were my own things using uh, their own, uh, their publishing service, right? So as an author, 
uh, but you may not want to do that. And that's not what I'm even trying to convince you on at this point in the video. So for me, I made the most money reselling on eBay and Macari. By far, Amazon is the big wheel. So if you want to use Amazon, you want to use Scout IQ, you want to go source online, uh, things that can be sold at a higher marked up price and buy it and resell it, amen, you can do that. There's also fulfillment centers and different ways that you can do this without ever having to get the items in your possession and still making sure that this works smoothly. Um, the, the purpose of this video is to be as simple, as basic as possible. So that way, anybody, regardless of what level of financial literacy you are on, you understand how to go execute on this. So you understand how you can go online, buy things at one price, and then sell it at a marked up price. My rule of thumb that I always say, but I want to be intentionally repetitive because I don't know who may just be hearing about this for the first time, is that I will only sell things that I could sell for at least, at least, at least three times what I paid for them. Um, that way it covers shipping costs, fees, and et cetera, and I still have a profit. Now, of course, if I could sell it for 10, 15, 20 times uh, what I paid for it, amen. But I wouldn't source anything. I wouldn't buy anything unless I'm already seeing the sales data either in Scout IQ, if I'm going to be on Amazon, or in the sold listings, if I'm going to be on eBay and Macari. Sold listings are your best friends. When it comes to reselling, don't try to make something cool. Just sell the cool stuff already. Super easy to do. I've done it. Many other people are doing it. Uh, understanding business, your only limitation is your imagination. So if you say you can't do it, then you can't do it. But anybody that truly is interested in this, we got a ton of videos on this channel talking about it. Uh, I also mentioned Redbubble as well. If you're going to use sites like Redbubble, um, the people that I know that have made the most money with that are focusing on things that are trendy. So it's big money, but it's not long-term money, if that makes sense. So some people might make $50,000 in a month or more, right? Or they might make $50,000 in a few short months, right? But then it, it dries up after the trend leaves. They got to jump onto the next trend. Now, depending on your personality and what you're interested in doing and not doing, that may be for you, which is why I added it to the list, right? Let's say that you are a little bit more advanced. You want to expand out beyond the whole reselling items. You say, hey, JT, I want bigger margins, right? To me, the greatest value in reselling is that you don't have to know a lot about selling. You just got to know what is this going for now? What can you pay for it today? And where to list it, how to list it. And that's just duplicating the success of other people that have already done it on the platform. When it comes to selling your own products or services, now you got to have some understanding of marketing, of quality, of brand, of design, all of these other elements, not trying to deter you. Uh, the upside of this, the best part of this is that now you control your margins. If you bought, for example, um, some Nikes from Ross Dress for Less discount store and you got them for $35 and online they're selling for $110 just because of the brand, the rarity, the whatever, or it might just be a unique size that you can't find everywhere, but somebody really wants those shoes in that size. All right. The market really determines what it will pay for that. So you can say, well, I want to sell these shoes I got for a few bucks for thousands of dollars. But if the market doesn't say that they'll do that, then you're just stuck with it. You got to deal with it. Whereas if you developed your own IP, now you can do some marketing, you can do some branding, and you can control how much upsell, how much margin is on this, right? So that being said, once you're ready for that, once you're ready to have unstoppable or unlimited margins, now we're talking about using a Shopify store. Shopify is by far the most popular one. It has a lot of plugins that makes your life easier, makes making money way easier for you. A lot of people I know that are killing it with this focus on leveraging Shopify. Shopify, leveraging funnels, a sales funnel. The most popular software out there right now is ClickFunnels, but that's not 
not the only one. So they'll leverage a sales funnel to a Shopify store. And from that Shopify store, um, well, let's even go a step beyond that. How do you even get people in the sales funnel, JT? Because again, like I said, this is going to be a super basic video. They're going to pay influencers to promote their product or service, drive traffic into their sales funnel. And then their sales funnel is going to upsell and downsell them, convert them over. And then their, their Shopify store is actually where they're housing all of their products or services. Do you have to have a click funnels um funnel no there are people that use other new and creative ways so just like when people say skinning a cat this is not the only way this is just a way to do it and i think that i've really harped on that first lesson long enough let's go quickly through the other two but if you guys want more detailed breakdowns about anything in this video you know what to do put it down in the comment section below all right next content creation i love content creation right content creation has changed my life this youtube thing this instagram thing this social media stuff has really really changed my life and it'll do the same for you now youtube and instagram aren't the only platform podcasts do really well newsletters do really well Facebook does really well. And depending on when you're watching this, there may be a multitude of other platforms out there as well. But let's just talk about ones that I feel like are evergreen and they're not going away in the foreseeable future. The dope thing about a podcast is that you can take that audio, right? Well, let's say you're going to record a video like this and record the audio like I'm doing as well. You can then take that video, put it on Facebook, put it on YouTube, uh, snip it up. If you personally don't have an editor, you can use software like Get Munch, G-E-T-M-U-N-C-H, Get Munch, software that'll chop it up for you, right? And now you have reels and shorts that you can put out on Instagram, on TikTok, and etc. And once you build up these platforms and get monetized, you can start getting checks from every social media platform out there, whether it's Instagram, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Facebook, whether it's TikTok. As of this recording, now I don't own any of these social media platforms that could change in the future, but the way it looks right now, it's a great revenue driver for their business. So it doesn't really make sense for them to cut it anytime within the next couple of decades. Next point uh, that I want to uh, touch on or next avenue that I want to talk about other than just leveraging the podcast visually as well as with the audio is you can strip the audio and you can put it out there and have it on Shopify. Some people use Anchor. There's a whole lot of different softwares out there that can distribute just the audio to several different platforms. And now for busy people that don't have the time or interest to watch your video, they can listen strictly to the audio, wherever audio is available of that subject matter. Makes sense, right? So your podcast can make money a whole lot of different ways. You can also get real fancy with it, but for the sake of time, we'll keep it high level. But yes, people will get into brand deals. People will get into charge people to come on the platform and get the exposure and advertising but if you guys want more on that we can do a dedicated video on that again you guys decide what we talk about because this channel is not designed to be just what jt has going on or what jt talks about my goal is to create transformational information that you take and then apply that information make more money change your life and the life of your loved ones newsletters now down in the description of this video is a link to join my free newsletter. It is the Providence Professional or the Providence Pro newsletter. And what we're going to do is start sending for free plays to your inbox. Right now we're doing it bi-monthly. I think we're going to up it here soon and start doing it weekly. So depending on when you're watching it, we may already be weekly with the program as well. We're also going to do private newsletter subscriber only events. They're still going to be free events. But you got to be on the free newsletter to come to the free events. So we're going to do five-day intensive business trainings and all of that other good stuff. It doesn't cost you anything at all, right? So why would you do a newsletter for absolutely free JT? Or why would anybody do any newsletter? Now, there are some paid newsletters, right? Mine is not. But nothing wrong with those that are paid newsletters where people pay money to join the newsletter. You can also advertise in the newsletter. So what I tell people all the time is that in my newsletter, I'm going to tell you everything to do for absolutely free. But if you say, hey, JT, appreciate you telling me everything to do. I don't want to do it because I'm a busy person. I'm afraid of making a mistake just for whatever reason. I don't have the time to do it for whatever reason. Right. I will include paid resources that are either mine or companies that I use, no trust, et cetera, that will do the same thing for you quickly, easily, more efficiently. I tell people all the time that JT is out of the selling information. The only thing that we sell here is time. 
We're going to tell you how to do everything yourself. And I believe time is your most valuable asset. Some people will just take the free information and go to the moon with it. Amen. Uh, that's what it's for. I want to help as many people as possible. But for the busy people, we're going to give them resources that let them reach all of their goals quicker. So that's one way that you can make money with newsletters. Actually, two, you can charge people for the newsletter. And that's a personal decision you can make, you know, if and when you feel like doing it. Um, or you can decide like me that, hey, I'm going to give you all the sauce for free. And if you say, hey, JT, just tell me how I can get this done this week instead of doing it myself and it taking a few months, right? Boom. I'll pay a couple of dollars, nothing crazy, right? For a transparent service that'll get me this outcome faster, right? Um, so newsletters, and we could talk all day about newsletters as well. If you want to dedicate a video about everything or anything that's in this uh, YouTube video, you already know what to do. YouTube, ad revenue, brand deals, selling your own merch, whatever it is, right? YouTube is definitely a game changer, life changer for me. Facebook, like YouTube, does have an ad program as well. Uh, you can monetize uh, through your short form content and your long form content on Facebook. And uh, there's a lot of other social media platforms that are out right now. Now, and depending on when you're watching this, it may be way more than what I'm aware of now. But for the sake of brevity in this video, like I don't want to be talking for 35 minutes to an hour. That's just a few ways. But becoming a content creator on social media or creating your own newsletter slash blog. I'm just biased to newsletters, but blogs kill it as well. Is another way you can create content and make money without ever having to leave the comfort of your home. Uh, last, but definitely not least. And I feel like this is going to be one that is going to make a lot of people say, JT, you lost me, right? That doesn't make any sense. All right, public speak. How in the world can you do public speaking if this list is supposed to be things to do if you couldn't leave home, JT? It doesn't make any sense at all, right? Well, I'm gonna put an image up or my editor is gonna include a couple of images just flash them up on the screen of my first paid public speaking event now your boy is not new to public speaking at all but your boy is new to getting paid to public speaking as of this recording and what i will tell you is that while that was an in-person event i got a whole lot of people that were interested in booking me for other in-person events but i've also had somebody approach me and say hey look if we wanted you to come on a Zoom and just talk about something similar to what you talked about today or whatever, right? Is it possible for that to happen? We're willing to pay. We just want to know your rates. We want you to come on Zoom and talk to our organization, whatever organization that may be, our church, you know, family, maybe, right? Just depends on what kind of speaker you want to be as a public speaker, right? So it could be professional organizations. It could be churches. It could be teams. I had people approach me that said, hey, I have a youth basketball team and we really resonate with your message. No, you're busy. We're busy traveling all over the place uh, playing ball, but can we do a Zoom sometime while we're on the road, right? So I'm saying public speaking because uh, that's the, the industry term, but you can actually get booked to come on virtual platforms like Zoom, Riverside, and others and get paid to speak to a group of young people, older people, middle-aged people, professionals, whatever your genre, whatever your niche is, and get paid for that as well. So don't think that public speaking is only literally you going out in the public and speaking. Uh, I don't even know what the term would be, but hey, that's I went, I did it, and they said, hey, we want a public speaker, but we want to do it virtually. How much you charge? Trust me, you can do this, right? And there are committees out there, all right? All right the event that I spoke on, they have money to pay for public speakers. They just need to know that public speakers that can resonate with their audience exist, all right? So some of you all out there might say, I'm terrified of getting in front of a room of 10 people, much less 100 or 1,000 or thousands or hundreds of people. But if I could sit in the comfort of my home, just me, and just talk on Zoom, I can handle it, all right? And you got a profound message that can impact the life of many people, all right? Don't let it go to waste, right? Don't let your seed fall on infertile ground. Utilize the gifts that God gave to you. If you got value out of this, smash that subscribe button. Share this video with anybody you think it can help. If you want to know more information, put it down in the description below. I'm in record mode now, so you might get a response via a comment or you might get another video. Your boy is in his bag right now. Till next time, talk muscle, stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.